Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel. My name is Amar and on this channel we review a variety of sneakers. Those mostly being of Nike branding and those mostly being of my favourite pairs. Right, so in today's video we'll be looking at another sneaker. It's something I picked up sort of on the 1st of September and we're on the 7th now. So it's took me all in all 7 days. If I didn't make the correct inquiries... My trainers probably would have been still sat there, to be honest. It was a collection, so it's something I had to actually pick up from store. I did make a few phone calls to try chasing up because I had no email confirmation to say they have arrived at the store. And on top of that, they turned around and said they've had it since yesterday, so I don't know what's gone off there. You know, it took me a minute to get hold of them. I'm super excited that I've eventually got hold of them. So without going on any further, let's just crack on with the rest of this video. And we'll start off this video by looking at the box and packaging. So this is your box. It's your standard Nike Move to Zero box. Nothing out of the ordinary. And it's a Move to Zero box. So if I just quickly go ahead and read off the box for you. The box reads... Move to Zero is Nike's journey towards zero carbon and zero waste to help protect the future of sport. That's the print on the front of the box. Right, so if I just go ahead and read off the box label for you. The box label reads Women's Air Jordan 1 Mid SE and it's of a colourway of light olive black sail white. That's the box label for anyone who is copying a pair and you know what to look out for. Right, so if I just go ahead and peel back this lid, we can then have a look at the packaging and then we can get towards the kicks. Uh, so we have this standard Nike Air Jordan tissue paper, nothing out of the ordinary. You have the lot number in the top corner, just there. So if we just peel back this paper, we can then review the kicks. So in hand, here is your first look on this channel, the Air Jordan 1 Mid Light Olive and it's dubbed as Olive Toe. Right, so what I tend to do in my videos, I try to cover certain aspects of the sneaker. We'll talk about materials, we'll talk about sizing, and we'll talk about availability. So we'll start off this video by talking about the materials. So we'll just start off by looking at the front end of the shoe, and then I'll work my way up and towards the rear of the shoe, and so on. So if we go ahead and look at your toe guard, which is this area around here, we have a nice, clean canvas material, and it's in that black colourway. And it's really durable and if we go ahead and look at your toe box we have a nice clean light olive colorway on your toe box looks really clean it's similar to the um to the lows that we had so yeah it looks really nice in my opinion and if we just go ahead and look at your uh, eyelets and your lacing panels which is this area around here it's of that same canvas material if we just go ahead and look at your laces laces are in your nice clean black colorway looks really nice uh, they could have done with maybe, I don't know, some olive colourway laces maybe, or some white ones even maybe. That's just what I think personally. Uh, so if we just go ahead and look at your side panel, your side panel is of that same canvas material, sail colourway along your side panel. As I mentioned in my low top, it's the same swoosh as they have done with the low top, but with this one, it's in that black colourway. And if you are comparing the actual swoosh to anything, you are kind of getting those Air Force One Stussy vibes with this sort of a stitch swoosh look that they've gone for. So it looks really nice in my opinion. Uh, I would, uh, like I said in my last video on the low top version, which is that one there, I did say they should have actually have just gone for a nice clean black swoosh in leather material. It would have been sweet in my opinion. So if you just go ahead and look at your heel panel and your and your wings area which is this area around here uh, you have that same canvas material and it's in that same olive colorway and on the top end of the wing you have your air jordan branding on the top end of the wing and if you're looking at it it's been stitched 
but it's all blank if you understand what i mean and there's no sort of uh, branding or text to say air jordan uh, which they've done a few times on a few sort of uh, mid tops looks really clean in my opinion but if we just go ahead and look at your ankle collar right just above your uh, wings panel which is along here you have your ankle collar it's of that black colorway and that's also in that canvas material looks pretty clean in my opinion your heel panel towards the rear of the sneaker it's in that olive colorway looks really nice and it's of that same canvas material right so if we just go ahead and look at your tongue your tongue is of that same light olive colorway and it's in that canvas material to the touch it's not like your standard sort of air jordan tongues in my opinion so this doesn't have as much padding as your standard air jordan one mid so in my opinion the padding on the actual tongue itself doesn't have the same amount of thickness what you would get in your standard air jordan one mids and if we just look at your tongue label your tongue label is in that olive colorway and it's backed on this canvas material tab and you have your air jordan branding and if you look at your air jordan branding on the actual tongue tab itself it's in a black rubber material and if you run your finger along it the jump man itself to the touch is sort of rubbery and if we just quickly look at your midsole your midsole is a nice clean white midsole and looking at it to the eye you do have speckles of sort of regrind material and if we just go ahead and look at the rear of the sneaker we are looking at your outsole your outsole is in that same colorway as the light olive colorway throughout the sneaker looks really clean in my opinion that's your materials so if we just go ahead and talk about sizing these are women's pairs so i do i do recommend just sticking to your tutor size from my experience there's a lot of debates about sort of women's pairs and men's pairs when it comes to nike silhouettes but from my experience just stick to your normal tutor size so if we're just wrapping it up about sizing just stick to your normal tutor size so if we just go ahead and talk about availability now i cop this on the 1st of september i actually thought i would have had him within sort of like a day or two after i actually got hold of them i had to chase them up which i was a bit annoyed about to be honest but they're here now and we're looking at them i wanted to try getting them out to you as soon as possible but me waffling on if we're talking about availability these actually dropped today via the nike app they are on offspring they are also on the office website do please make sure to check them out but your main site to actually get a hold of these will be on the nike site itself i did check over both pairs so you've got your low tops and you've got your mid tops and they are both widely available in sizes which to be honest is a surprise because i thought they would have flew out but you know uh, they are actually available i don't know how long i don't know when you actually see this video but I, I do hope you see it sooner if you are looking to cop or you don't know where to cop so like i said they are available on the nike website do make sure to check that out and all sizes are available as of yet that might change obviously we are halfway through the day and they did drop sort of eight o'clock in the morning today right so if i just give you my personal opinion on the actual silhouette I do believe it's a very very nice and wearable colorway i do believe also they should have actually have gone for some leather panels i don't know maybe the side panels right so i believe i've covered everything i said i would cover in this video i will do an on foot for you guys like i promise with all that out of the way i hope to catch you on the next video